Have you ever seen someone run PPC on their own brand term and chuckle to yourself as you click their ad and cost them a few pennies? Now you may think, what a waste of money. Don't they know they appear organically for the search term anyway? Well, let us tell you that bidding on your own brand term is actually quite a clever technique and shouldn't cost you that much at all. Let me tell you why in this week's episode of Giant Wednesday. Hi, I'm Ant from Sleeping Giant Media and I'm here to talk to you today about the benefits of bidding on your own brand terms when it comes to your PPC campaigns. If you like what I have to say in today's video, then make sure to subscribe to our channel where we have tons of great digital marketing skills based content. Go check it out, just not right now ideally. I'm going to break down the reasons you should be bidding on your brand terms into four sections, hopefully proving to you that it's a winning idea. So without further ado, let's jump into number one. Firstly, controlling the real estate. Having both organic and paid listings appear in a search engine results page gives you more control over the prime bit of real estate. More presence means more opportunity to convince the user to click through to your website. It also shows the searcher that you're a prominent player in your industry. In this instance, more is definitely more. Number two, getting ahead of the competition. So if you're up against some big players, there's a good chance they're already bidding on your brand terms and they're more likely in that space. I know, right? How dare they? It's safe to say that you don't want the competition showing up, pride of place at the top of the listings when someone searches for your company, brand or product. If this happens, there's a risk you're losing traffic to your competitors. So brand bidding can be a strategic way to keep control of that real estate. With clever campaigns and bidding techniques, you can regain a top spot and keep their ads at bay. It also means you can send searchers specific messaging, enticing them in different ways to specific pages. Number three, catching the ready to convert users. Think about the purchasing journey that people have been on when it comes to finding your product or service. By the time they've got to Google and typed in the brand name, you can be pretty sure they're really close to taking that final step to convert. Whether that's a direct sale, contact form or sign up, or perhaps they've heard about you from a recommendation, done their research or even bought from you before. Whatever the reason, they're further along the conversion cycle than people using generic search terms. You can use your PPC ads targeted to brand terms on your brand name to send them to your highest converting landing pages, helping their journey across that finish line. And finally, number four, keep your budget happy. The holy grail of PPC is finding those high ROI keywords that are ideally cheap, but generate you search volume and conversions. Although with that being said, of course, long tail keyword strategy, so low volume keywords in high numbers are also valuable. We've actually got an episode of Giant Wednesday all about that. Anyway, it turns out those low cost but high volume keywords have been hiding in plain sight all this time. Your brand terms can help you garner some of the highest click through rates paired with a great quality score that has a significant impact on your account as a whole. From your company name to abbreviations to even specific products, due to the high quality score, you'll find that these terms only make a little dent in your overall PPC budget, but can generate some giant results. So you've probably noticed that the common thread in all of these points is control and defense. Bidding on your own brand terms gives you more control and flexibility around what appears in the search engine results page when people are searching for your brand term. This means that if you want to maximize your ROI by having complete control and also protecting yourself from the competition trying to bid on your prime real estate, get bidding on your brand terms. It's the way forward. So I have one more bonus point, and that's thinking about your remarketing strategy. Targeting your brand terms means you can very easily create an audience that already knows your brand. You can then target them with similar audiences. You can target them with new offers and products. Think about how you might want to use that audience that already knows of your brand and is actively looking for you online. So that was a whistle stop tour of why it can be a great idea to bid on your own brand terms through your PPC campaigns. We hope we've inspired you to give it a go. Consider it the sunscreen to your syrupy skin deflecting those rays from other websites. If you have any more advice or you think we've missed something, make sure you leave a comment and let us know. Here's today's giant cheat sheet on the topic. Click the link in the description to download it or just take a screenshot if you're on your mobile. As always, make sure you subscribe to our channel for even more great content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for another Giant Wednesday.